Hey guys, hope you're all doing great. So I have here a little workaround to help uh, cool the VRAM on this uh, eGPU, the Aros Gaming Box 3090. So this is a little trick that a subscriber uh, recommended. So basically I unscrew those 12 screws here and open both of the sides. And uh, I'm gonna try to let uh, some uh, cold air running through it to see how much we can lower the VRAM. I'll try this at the light settings and the uh, extreme settings I remember if I used to get 102 uh, 104 with those light settings with the case closed um, so I uh, clean it up a bit remove the dust and just open it up this is not the best way there's another, another more complex way which is um, changing the thermal pads and uh, this is another, another subscriber recommended that but for the sake of this review uh, we'll start with the first one see what we can get uh, also this is much easier for uh, for people than changing turbo terminal pads which is more complex and you just need to change there's a lot of screws in this machine so it's not very easy to do you need to watch a couple tutorials so uh, but what if like you're a gamer and you have this you want something easy quick to lower the temps uh, this is it so i'm gonna hook this up and uh, try to test it again with nice hash however i'm gonna have a, a cold fan uh, blowing at it uh, so just lower it down i don't think it's enough just opening this you still need cold air to run through it just uh, one thing to add folks uh, make sure that you have the fan blowing at it uh, this way so where it's on the left side uh, if you're looking at the front you need the, the fan to blow uh, on this one on this little fan and this will uh, make better results if you have it blown on the other side, it's not that efficient. So tip on the way to have this uh, properly cooled. And now let's look at nice hash dashboard. Stand by. So guys, I've let this uh, run for a bit now and I'm keeping this at the uh, light settings. I'm getting uh, around the VRAM now of 98 degrees. Uh, so uh, what I did, I let, I've let this one for a while and I kept it on the light settings. It lowered temperature uh, VRAM wise uh, 6 degrees less. So I was before 104, 102, 106 and I was able to get down to 98. It's not ideal. Uh, so I, like I mentioned, the terminal pad replacement is better, but uh, it's better than nothing. Like it's, uh, I gained 6 degrees. Uh, so it's, uh, that's very good. 98 is better than 104. So at least uh, this is a quick trick if you want uh, to run this uh, this card cooler. You don't need to, uh, you know, uh, go open everything. If you want to just like open it, it's very quick to open. It's only 12 screws. So you open it quickly and you have a cold fan blowing at it. You have 98. So you can mine uh, this way easy without, you know, disassembling all the unit because it's not very, uh, very straightforward. You need to watch a few videos that are out there on that. But... I'm gonna try to get uh, those thermal pads and uh, replace it, see how further I can get it down. But for now, uh, this is good enough uh, with those temperature. Uh, so please uh, like, uh, please subscribe and uh, take care guys.